It's been 84 years. Any fears that our Freestar Collective counterparts have managed to weaponize the Ashta have been completely dispelled. After the Mickelson debacle, we determined that the NCI should only be attached under full sedation, so that wasn't an issue. The problem started immediately afterward. The Ashta proved incredibly resistant to synchronization, and we never achieved control fidelity beyond 47%. Dr. Chin's arm was nearly ripped off five minutes into the first trial. In short, the Ashta simply can't be controlled. If not by us, then certainly not by the Freestar Collective. Dr. Paulson has been in touch with Colonel Kasarov. Looks like the Marines will have another species collected and dropped off by this time next week. Another creature, another failure. No fault of the UC ground pounders. <laughs> We wanted a predator and they delivered. These things were so alien. Paulson had a difficult time deciding on a designation, opted for Reptans Venenum. Shame we couldn't properly sink the NCI. These things would have been spectacular, especially the poison. Jake, I haven't been to bed yet. <laughs> Marines dropped another few specimens off this morning, totally unscheduled. Best way to describe them, they're arthropods, the alien equivalent of Homaris gamaris. Basically, giant space lobsters, giant spiders, giant lobsters. No, this is why I just. Well, you're in, you're in Japan, so I'm still not past the part, Jake, where I when I started playing it. So I got a little ways to go. After the third or fourth unsuccessful trial, I stopped asking. None of those earlier species could be controlled with any reliability. As noted in my early... There's a running theme here that they're ignoring. As noted in my earlier logs, their natural aggressiveness made them effective weapons, but a bullet is less than useless if the gun keeps turning itself on the shooter. Uh, but these new creatures possess a perfect natural disposition, non-aggressive, even docile, yet capable of defending themselves with deadly efficiency when threatened. And when they do go on the attack, they're terrifying. So we'll see. Jake is in Japan, yeah, for his new job. He'll be back. I think you're leaving the end of this week, right? This whole thing, it feels like Alien. It feels like The Expanse. It feels like Prometheus. It feels like all of the things that we're not supposed to touch, but we're doing it anyway. Truly our future. We're moving, packing up shop and transitioning the entire operation. It's happened so fast, my head is spinning. The work on the arthropods has been so successful. By the way, if you if you didn't notice, too, um, chat, a few of the emotes that made it into emote form uh, were made by Khan. So you should check those out. There's a few in there that he made. They used to be mixer stickers when we turned them into emotes. Starfield is, while well, space is terrifying, period, in the sentence. Uh, the work on the arthropods has been so successful, we're actually relocating to their home world. We'll have an unlimited supply of creatures for Xeno Warfare Division. I've been named Senior Xenobiologist. That means I'll be running the entire facility. My first instinct was to tell Amanda. I'm still not used to uh, being here. Hey, Pumas, thank you for the follow. Uh, used to her not being there. I'll give Mickelson credit. The guy really went to bat for me. He let the mass brass know... Uh, that it was my work tuning the neutral control interface that was instrumental in controlling the arthropod. I guess Paulson is being forced to retire. Good riddance. This is totally going to end well. Eggman desk, desk assistant. Is that the Alexa of the future? All right. Chrissy, how are you? Mixer was the best time I ever had streaming. <laughs> I still think Mixer should come back and do the funniest thing ever and just be like, we're back. Hell, I'd go back. Well, the beauty is if Mixer existed now and Twitch had their, you know, streaming, multi-streaming, uh, Restrictions off. Mixer would probably still be doing very well. I did play Realm Royale. Corey turned me on to Realm Royale uh, very early on on Mixer because I refused to play Fortnite and then they brought no build in. And I was like, well, crap, I can play Fortnite now. None of these are lining up, I don't think. No. Okay. Just making sure there's no... Uh, okay.
No. Has to be one of these other ones then. This one? Now we're cooking with gas. I, I I enjoy Fortnite no build. That's when I started playing. I had fun playing Lego Fortnite with Ben too. I love how they just find new and inventive ways to make us pick locks in all these Bethesda games. Coffee. Alien bug paperweight. A blender. What time is it? I should probably take my first break in a minute. Anyway, thanks again, Con, for the raid. I appreciate it, man. Hopefully, I know I know GCX is off the table, but I hope I can see you in the future soon. Grendel? I have any on. Uh, Jake Hunter has his own Fortnite account now. Also, Jake, you're not coming here for Christmas, right? I'll be very excited if you are, but I think mom said you're not. I thought you come home on the 16th. You extended it again? See, like me, I, who knows when we would need duct tape, you know? You took vacation time? They just hired you! Oh, this is hilarious, Jake. I know there's more. Where are you? Where are you? Is he upstairs? Yes. Peace is no longer a Did I get, oh, I got that one. Are you finishing your tattoo? I was telling Chad about your tattoo the other day. I was also telling them how you had no idea what eat, pray, love means. For those who need a recap, that's my brother. He, uh, he's on his eat, pray, love life journey. He got hired by a Japanese company and he's been in Japan for, what are you talking, two months now? Three months? And he keeps convincing them to let him stay. He might be able to read it. Jake is truly living the dream, but he deserves it because he I was telling him you lost 50 pounds. That's a good sign, right? That right there. Totally not alarming. In an, uh, you know, oh, look at that.
Jake, did you go on the date with the the lady who cut your hair? Danielle wants you to stay so we can come visit you. Hazmat suit, sure, let's give it a whirl. Iron Claw movie, uh, yes. The one about, uh, was it Kevin or Carrie? One of the Von Erics, I can't remember. See, I picked up two hazmat suits. Oh, look at that. Not alarming. Definitely a this is fine situation. I'm not even kidding. Danielle talks about you staying in Japan and finding a lovely, um, do I have a solstice? Lovely Japanese girl and settling down. I do. Okay. If it's a better one than I have, it'll be a different loot color, right? It won't be gray for those of you who have played already. Because if I remember my brief time playing it, there were loot colors. No, if you're going to fly international, you, 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 you spring for it. We didn't do that on our honeymoon. We went from Germany. We went from New York to Germany to Rome and we regretted it completely. We should have just spent the, it would have only been another like thousand dollars. And for what we were paying for the honeymoon, should have just freaking did it. My staff and I just arrived this morning, and I'm not surprised to find the faci facility completely operational. As usual, the United Colonies spared no expense. It's all very exciting, inspirational, really, knowing that you have the full support of the decision makers. I have to admit, I was surprised to learn that the lab is a closely guarded secret located in Freestar Collective Space. Ah, there's the problem. No less. But we go to work. We go where the work takes us. Xeno warfare is the evolution of armed ground conflict. We know it, and the Freestar Collective surely knows it well. Forget what the calendar says. This is 1942 all over again. We may as well uh, be the Manhattan Project, racing to create the game changer before the other side. So, to that effect, I'm overjoyed to officially announce Project Pet Shop Phase One is a go. Project Pet Shop is the most condescending name, given what I saw in that room for what they got going on here. Calm, easy to work with, and they even allow themselves to be fitted with the NCIs without much trouble. Synchronization has thus far been nearly instantaneous, and their control fidelity has remained in the 95 to 97% range. They've passed all environmental survivability tests as well, hot, cold, low, or no oxygen. I'm pretty sure these things could operate effectively in any environment. Any. That's pretty bold. Uh, most promising is how well they've been integrated with the Red Devils who have joined us for a period of extended training. After all, they'll be leading the creatures into combat, so it's critical they establish a war bond. Okay. After months of testing a variety of extraterrestrial species, I'm overjoyed to report that we have finally found a species that will serve as the backbone of the United Colonies Xeno Warfare Division. The arthropods are everything we hoped for and more. Imagine a pack of alien beasts suited to any terrain capable of instantly obeying any command. I have designated these beasts obedience, obedientes pests, but we just call them stalkers. There's so many red flags here. I think it may finally be time to crack open that bottle of Chateau Avignon 27, 2170. 
The Red Devil's progress with the Stalkers has been nothing less than amazing. Now I see why they're so highly regarded in the USC military circles. None of the rah-rah bullshit you see with the regular grunts. These are focused professionals. Another week of training here in the pet shop. I'm confident they'll be ready for a live test in the field. Mickelson suggests I con contact Colonel Kasarov and find out where he his Marines grabbed that spider from the early trials. He wants his comeuppance, but then it would make for a good trial. Okay. Yeah, that sounds terrible, Eddie. We have one. I always use bandages. Med pack. Hi, Kevin. I'm your biggest fan. Franksta, thank you so much for seven months of forgetting to unsub. Welcome back to the Magic Kingdom, dude. Much, much appreciated. It's a crappy way to die. Oh, that was the thing that crawled out of the the drawer before. Looks like they died in there. There's a lot of weapons in this game, huh? I don't know what I just picked up. Hey, Flood, what's up, dude? Picking up too much stuff, I can tell already. No one's stopping me. Chat's just letting me pick up all the things. Sure, Kevin, pick it all up. Sounds good. I made a deal with Chad Comfy that I wasn't going to pick everything up, but now I'm doing the Bethesda game thing and picking everything up. Because is it really a Bethesda game if you don't pick everything up and then you get over encumbered in the middle of a fight and you got to figure out how to drop everything? Sucks to be that guy. Med pack, thanks, dude. Also, one of my favorite things about what they did with this game, um, art-wise, is that they made it like 90s, 80s, future sci-fi. Ready, Vasco? Are you ready? This is it. Don't get scared now. This is the room where there's like 20 of them, if I remember correctly. Tagged him, but didn't kill him. You ran right in front of me. They're up there. Look, you knew what you were getting when I returned to streaming, Moss. Don't act like I'm some Fortnite pro. Just because I was saying I could go pro before doesn't mean I actually meant it. Did I kill that guy? I did kill that one guy. Oh, that was the one I exploded the barrel on. 
Where is this other one? I played Lego Fortnite and Rocket Racing. Modified sounds better than the other one. It's a Bethesda game, Grand Champ. No, I didn't say I didn't like it. I just wasn't shooting things in it. So the modified Grendel, we're gonna, well, if we have to, we'll, Hold on. No, stick with the... And then what was the other one that I picked up? The solstice? No. What is it now? Equinox, that was the other one. No, Ben had the bow and arrow. I was the hack man. Bro's just got poutine on him. Don't get me wrong. I'm not judging him whatsoever. I'm just saying he's just got poutine on him. All right. Um... We're at war. Who to thunk by all the other stuff and all the other letters you were writing? By establishing the colony of Vesta, the Freestar Collective enforced the UC's hand, the unmitigated Gaul, thinking they could establish control over a fourth star system. Such a flagrant violation of the Treaty of Narion. Our diplomats tried to resolve this peacefully, but the Council of Governors wouldn't listen to reason. Apparently, they claimed that Vesta was not a colony, but rather just an insignificant farming outpost. Nice try. By all accounts, the Red Devils and Stalkers worked in perfect unison, and the results were everything we could have hoped for. No Red Devil or Stalker casualties. Vesta's defenders were apparently taken by complete surprise, which greatly contributed to their fatality rate, 93%. This is a great day for the Red Devils, a great day for the United Colonies, and a great day for Xeno Warfare. Note, no, it's not lost on me that this classified facility is actually located within Freestar Collective Space, so goes the great game. They keep saying that over and over again. It's finally time. After a number of successful missions with the Red Devils, the Stalkers have proven to be a exactly the weapons we had hoped for so it's time to expand our operations mass has finally approved the next stage of the facility's operations project pet shop phase two will now commence that's like nothing could go wrong nothing nothing did you get that from goth's chat this morning steel joker we've officially stopped work on the stalkers they are are enough creatures in the field to serve the Red Devils who haven't been here to train in over a year. If they need more, we can easily gather some from the planet and fit them with NCIs. But from this point on, our focus is phase two. Heat leeches throughout the settled systems from civilized world to backwater bush towns. Pilots have had to deal with the nuisance known commonly as the heat leech. We've seen them. I had my own unpleasant experience four years ago at the new Atlantis spaceport. My transport was delayed while the deck crew removed a few of these filthy little things from my aft, thrust aft thrusters. They're attracted to heat. Feed off, uh, feed it through, feed off it through some endothermic process. So thrusters are the perfect place for them to hide. Look at you all with your golden kappas from God's chat this morning. Uh, no ill effects on the heat leeches. That is a ship with an infestation can generally expect a three to 5% drop in their thruster efficiency. Working with the heat leeches has been interesting, if not entirely satisfying. We have 11 of them in the lab and by all accounts, they're completely innocuous, save for their heat siphoning properties. But what if they're a way to weaponize them? Is that all humans think about? Perhaps artificially enhance their heat siphoning to completely and instantly disable a ship, or even better, to somehow reverse the process so that they transfer their own heat into a ship. Someday, today, I fear we lack the means to do either. Okay. Does anyone else feel like that's a Star Star Wars reference and it looks like a Cam Tono? Or is it just me because I'm a Star Wars nerd?
I know, Conan, but it's just like, you know. <laughs> nope. I'm out of Digipix already? Alright, that stinks, because I opened that first try last time. What band is it, Jacob? That's so random. How do you know all of this information? I know Pete's from Tampa. Also, Jake, in my MLB The Show season, Pete Alonzo left and went to, of all places, St. Louis. He really is. His eat, pray, love thing in, in Japan is going very well. And I'm just sitting at home playing video games. Retired. This was twenty the beginning of the twenty five season. Also the Blue Jays won the twenty twenty four World Series. For all my Canadian friends. Alright, let's go upstairs since we can't find any digipix. Got a digipick. Move. Wait, what? Where is this guy? Where is this guy? Were you hiding the whole time? All right, Jake. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi picks and a disregard for personal property rights. I thought there were more guys in this part. Maybe I'm thinking of a different mission. I didn't do that many missions, though. I only did a few. Oh well. Thanks for the follow, Haida.
Keep on walking. Oh, I wanted to use Digipick on that one and then Digipick on the other one if I can open them both in one shot. Also, why can't I jump? Uh-oh. Don't talk about the dolphins. Speaking of dolphins, I had Guardian Outposts in my chat earlier, but Wreck is here now. This would be that one. So then that would open. So then that would open that. But then we'd be left with that one. So it has to be this one. And then that one. Which would leave us with that one. And then that one? Yes, okay. So we're gonna do that. And then that. And then that. And then that. Also, if you like sports and you don't hang out on our sports channel, you should. It's yours, Command Sports. So gross. Oh, Grand Champ, that was that was a thing yesterday. On so many different levels too. Right, that one. And what would this one be? Well no, we'd have that one, so we'd have to open. No, so that doesn't work. Okay, so. I think I got this one figured out. I think. Don't quote me. One. Two. Three. No. No! Shit! And I don't have another one. Damn it. That blows. Oh. Uh huh. Is it the same every time? No, it's different again. So. No, that's gonna open up in there somehow. That one. So this. Probably be for that. No, that wouldn't work. Well, hold on. That. And then this would open that. And then this... Hold up. Open that. Hi, Kevin. I'm your biggest fan. Hi, and thank you so much for three months of forgetting to unsub. Welcome back. We won't tell anyone, Vlad. 
Elvis, thanks for the lurk, dude. Lurk is love, chat. Lurk is love. Did the kids even say stuff like that on Twitch anymore? I tell you, when I go look through the directory now, I'm like, Kevin, you are indeed an old man. The craziest was, I want to say a year or two ago, probably two years ago. I logged in and I was like, let me see who's streaming Destiny, just to see. No interest in playing it myself, but. Who's streaming Destiny? So I go look. I don't think I knew. I mean, it was like Glad at the time. That's how long ago this was. And Aztec. I feel like besides them and maybe, I think I saw Red Queen on, that was it. I didn't know anybody else. And I was like, damn, times are changing. All right, last time I did this, I talked my way out of it. He would lie. Oh no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett or after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot is that his voice? It sounds like him. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many I love Leopard Diddy so much. He's one of my favorites. Are spare parts, dust, desiccated food and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. You're not talking us out of this score. That's what Chet would say. Hold on now. We're still talking. <laughs> it worked. How did it work? Get out of here. Take your robot and your ship and get out of here. I see you all again. You're dead. How did that work? We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without Crimson Fleet interference. Well, we gotta loot everything before we go to Constellation. How did we talk our way out of that? Like, seriously? But anyway, yeah, so I just didn't recognize anyone in the Destiny directory except a few people that I knew. It was wild. You still kill him? What level are they? Doesn't say. You can't hear the game audio? Make it a little louder. You want it louder? Oh, that was gold. Gold, Diddy. All right. Ready? Oh, 
Level six, really? I'm dead. I can bring it up a little more. People complained it was too loud. I don't know what I just took from him, but his whole fleet's shooting at me now. Is that better for you, Val? I don't think I have a long range. Is this long range? Let's see. They just leaving their boys there? Why can't I jump? Oh, there we go. There's still one more. There he is. Was that Vasco? How'd he get down there so quick? What's up, Sunday? Are you happy? I would I should have, uh, should have juiced up there and some nice cheese some more cheese some chungus cake more chungus cake some gummy worms some ramen some milk this would all not sit well in your stomach No, I'll save those when we're actually in trouble. They tasted like gummy worms. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to get down to help you, Vasco, but I don't know where everybody went. Or how to get down. Wait, it says I ran out of O2. Wait, where's the... Oh, I see. I'm hitting A over the return to ship icon and it's not doing anything. Okay, I needed to move two steps forward. Captain, What's up, Valdine? Thanks for the follow. Bert, thanks for the follow. In the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Okie dokie. Don't worry. This will all become second nature before too long. Thank you. 
So the first time I played it, we're almost up to where I left off. But the first time I tried to play it, I was like, oh, let me go explore the planet. And then I ran into some huge beast that was like level 10. I was like, I've made a huge mistake. So then I just ran from my ship. Well, we're happy you're here. All right, star map. Missions in the bottom section. Okay. Show on map. You have to do it from the missions menu. Still getting my bearings again. Show on map. So I played it for like three hours and then I decided I was going to return to streaming and would want to play it with everyone. So I, I joined the military on New Atlantis and that's as far as I got. So we're almost back to where I started. I have so much contraband. <laughs> So much contraband. <laughs> All right. Well, no, can I do if I remember correctly? Oh, no, I go back to the map. And then it's going to show me the place. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Yep. Got it. Cool. We Gucci. Hazmat suit, inclement weather outfit. We're gonna go with inclement weather outfit. You're right, the incarnate. You are 100% correct. Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? And he's your new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. Can I sell stuff here? Because I would like to sell you this. Yay, I did. And that. And that. All right, good. In Jersey, everything's legal. Isn't that Vegas? 
Ooh, the Corsair helmet's my favorite. All right, do I need the deep mining space helmet or can I sell it? Be real with me. Why is it telling me yeah, missions? Directly from the missions menu. Why is it telling me to fast travel? Do I need to? I remember walking there in my first playthrough, but should I? Yeah, that's what I thought. I don't know why it's telling me to do that. Yeah, he would so everyone can see him in his sweet Jedi survivor, Jedi Fallen Order outfit. That's why he would. Thanks. Uh, oh no, that's what I got. Look at me, everyone. Hey, everybody, come see how good I look. I mean, it is a Bethesda game, Matt, so we're not going to get too overly uh, uppity about it. This is New Atlantis Transit, or the next. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the... Is that how fast you run in your nightmares? <laughs> I'm so excited to see Tony after work. Tony, who's Tony? Who's Tony? Can I be Tony? Hey, give me a number for it, I'll honor no more. Seriously, I can be your Tony. Y'all just gonna ignore me? All right. He's not trying to make ponchos a thing. Chet made ponchos a thing. The water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced... All good, Val. I just asked if the volume was better for you now. Because I didn't want it to be too loud. I like it louder, but chat was saying it was not that loud. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? We may be in a United Colonies city, but Constellation is an entirely neutral entity. It always has been. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everyone will be in the library, just inside. If Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now, and he hopes you'll make this place your home. I spent so long exploring this lodge. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Yes. <laughs> Chat. Excuse me. I think you might have some confused, <laughs> some cutthroat bounty hunters guild. Vasco, verify Barrett's location and status. Currently, assisting the miners on Vectera following a Crimson Fleet attack. This is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter, 
And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Walrus, you're laughing at your own jokes. Bright lights and music. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not, wasn't in doubt. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right, let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. Mm -hmm. This is we already have move when they're in close contact. Mm -hmm. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have, the artifact. If you could place it on the table. That's it. Just like that. To imagine. We thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god. That's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the subtle systems can do that. None of them. This proves that... Easy, girl. You have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, it's like you said. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Dante? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting. Now, would it? No. Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? He has a game. He's just down. He you thinks this is cool. Chat's in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. Okay. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. Is it money? In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. Everyone loves a good boost. All right, chat, this is where I'm going to depend on you again. Is this a eventually I'll unlock everything game or is this a I need to be strategic about how I build this out game? What's it going to be? You don't know, Rossible? Everyone else is lurking. <laughs> Think about what you pick. So what do you recommend early on then? Is it combat? Physical strength, social skills. What are, what are we feeling? We were talking, Astro, about what's the best way to spec early in the game. One in boost pack. Is that in tech? Boost pack training, this one. I don't know, or a space jet. 
So chat's gonna do stuff. Let's look at social. Mm. Persuasion's always good in a Bethesda game. We'll do ballistic weapons next. So, all right, Sarah. Are you ready to get to work, or was there something else? What is constellation? What do you do? We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. Mm. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. I don't know how well that, known, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. I understand. You've been through a lot. Just let me know when. And this is what I have to do in Bethesda games. I have to talk to everybody. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. That was intense, wasn't it? It was. The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. Just a little. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. Hi, Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. That's what the other guy told me to do. Chad, if I move my... No, I don't want to do that too much. Might move my camera for the next stream. Because it just covers up everything just a little bit too much. Could shrink it. And I'll look at it when I'm off stream. Oh, right, that. If we were approaching... Beardly, thanks for that follow, dude. Appreciate it. I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Mm. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something. An energy surge, some other phenomenon. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of people report in these situations. I'm not saying you didn't really see anything. Just that it's really hard to determine after the fact. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Mm. Well, How long have you been working on this? Forever. More than 50 years now. But we only became 50 years isn't accident. forever, Noel. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's, that's flattering. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us.
Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on. And everything we Chat's interested in the exploration so he can rob people. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality. Like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. I hope you're still glad you joined the constellation, Noel. If you need a moment, I'm of glad to hear it. You could have Emphasis done just about line. anything. At least so. Why are they talking over each other? Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. They were just talking over each other. It's a little rude. Well, what's this door? Oh, I, did I get the key? I did get the key. What about this door? Whose room is that? That's a hallway. Whose room is that? Can I steal from them? Oh, you got a bar? We're going to get crunk. I know, Tamar. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason. Now let's see about that room. I want to get crunk. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? Oh, is this my room? Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy. Moby Dick, nice. I mean, should we put anything in here? I'm gonna keep the pirate suit. Is this the infinite storage you were talking about, by the way? I want that one. Oh, I can sell that hazmat suit. Okay. Gotta sell that empty packaging. All right, cool. Woohoo! All right, let's see who we can rob. That's my ship. You got anything good in here? I can't steal from them. This is very un. This is getting in the way of my R penis. I'm trying to RP chat stealing things, and they will not allow my RP penis to do anything. Oh, this is somebody bros. Economic Meltdown? Is that the name of a punk band? Batball. Return of the Interceptor, feeding the front lines. Oh, 
I have shown my R penis on many times on Twitch and have never had an issue. So I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Tanuki. Well, there's nothing in here that I want. Can I rob you? No. You're not anything good. Anything to rob in the bathroom? No? All right. We're just trying to find stuff to steal, Tanuki. We can't find anything. Thanks for the follow, Crayon. This is where all the labs and stuff are, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah. Pretty sure there's nothing I can do down here yet. Oh, we were, we were talking about the day before at the beginning of the stream. I cannot wait for the death of a game video for that. And the class action lawsuit. Because there's no way, there is not a chance in hell that they don't get sued. Not a chance in hell. What's up, Jake? I guess down the road we can get that spacesuit. What's good, Artie? I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Oh, that's nice of you, Vasco. Thank you. Lately, what could have been? It was never anything. More and more time here. The whole game was this made up of assets from time. Unreal Engine Marketplace. There was never they anything never that it could have been. End up involved in something like this. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. Damn right I'm it is, Shweeby. Theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. <laughs> Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but you know, if the label fits. All right, this will be the this is going to be the beginning of Chet's cult arc. Not necessarily, no, but it does kind of have the hallmarks of one, doesn't it? I'm certainly not going to rule it out just yet. He wouldn't okay. have understood it. That's all right. Maybe you weren't supposed to. Maybe it'll make sense later. We're going to get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. 
Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? I'm sure that's very common, to be honest. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. Also very realistic. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. Take care of yourself. Curious feeling, knowing that you've seen something that no one else has. That you know something no one else does. It's shady. Take note. Everyone here is worth learning from. Yes, even the kid. Funny thing about companies, if you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud. So this guy's a ship manufacturer. Why do I gotta pay for ship parts? Sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covet them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. I'm doing it, chat. It's bothering me. No, nope, not that one. This one. Hold on, bear with me. I want you to be able to see all of the words, and it was bothering me that you couldn't. There we go. Now you can. We can't always... Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? <laughs> that is what chat would say. It's a nonstop party well. in my head. Clearly, the sarcasm center of your brain is intact. I'm no scientist. Chill I out, old man. The likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Goodbye. Later, dude something you need I think they want me to let's see if we can get rid of this I don't think we can get rid of that pop-up probably have to restart the whole game whenever you're up for it we have work to do all right 
We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. You've done this before, eh? Wise words. If we watch each other's backs, we'll be fine. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how- That's a futuristic suit, suit, Incarnate. And for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. 300 Traveling years, that's all the rage. We either find an artifact, or this lead runs dry. You mean, besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? 100% Chet. We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a proper suit. She doesn't like the poncho. We wow. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, the more we can share what we have. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Oof. Avoiding Understood. security is not something good Chet is good at. <laughs> there it is. I mean, Constellation has a roster of members who haven't always been on the right side of their respective society. We're risk takers. Some of us have seen the inside of a jail cell more than once. If you join us, it means you're committed to our mission. In exchange, we give you latitude in your choice of means. All Chet heard was he has a get out of jail free card. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? I am at your service, Captain. We, uh, what do we want to do? Is there an easier? Hold on. Skills inventory. Shop. That's the one. Talk to the scientist by the tree. You know what? Those look like missions that you just kind of get done along the way. Let's stick with talking to Sarah's contact, which this is I did the next set of missions like in the military academy or whatever. And then that was it. That was as far as I got. So. Find out. Well, it's down there, but how do I get down there? Can I just jump? I feel like I'll die. I feel like I went in a big circle. Guma, thank you so much for the follow. Woohoo! 
Oh, it's another robot. This space is a memorial to those. If you are a citizen and require brief counseling, you may speak with any colonial health services representative to initiate counseling. Sick. Space Explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? This feels like Chet going to an army recruiter is his last resort. All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean... I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. Re-enlist? It's a game we play. He asks. I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. He was... Uh... You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. I want to go to Mars. Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. Mm -mm. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. No, that's what you're into. Go for it. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. <laughs> 